Also, guys, I'm going to be doing uh, part three of Dark Souls 2 Star, the first sin playthrough. So I just killed the first boss, and it worked out pretty well. So now we're going to head back to that area and take out the other one. There's not much to say about this next boss. Um, I've seen people uh, fight it before, but I, I tried giving them advice. They didn't like it. So honestly, I guess I could just say it's more of a personal preference on how you kill it. But I found it pretty easy to kill it if you just go right. That's it. It's not too difficult. You, you just go right up the boss, and it's later the easiest thing you'll ever fight. However, you know, Dark Souls 2 is still buggy. So, like, half the time you're fighting Pursuer, and then, like, he goes to dash towards you. But he doesn't even, like, go towards you, really. He just kind of, like, slows down, stays in one spot, and then flies at you really fast. Hopefully he doesn't have to. Favorite monsters in here. Um. Also, I recommend if if you want to go through like the game pretty easily, uh, strength builds and just go put all your points in strength. That tends to be a little one shot. Anything you see, like you could be at the same point I am and like one shot these things. Gonna die today. Alright. So I'm still disconnected from Steam. I forgot to reconnect. Like, I see the game, so it's all your set dark chest. Do I can't really summon anybody? But this fight doesn't require so. Uh, first time I got here, it took me two hours to beat. My friend taught me. Oh, just go right. It'll be easy. So it's okay. Nice thing. Right, keep. So normally every attack he uses uh, tends to be able to have like two. You can attack him twice before he uh, is like able to hit you again. However, uh, his little stab thing, yeah, that, that move right there, uh, you could probably, oh, okay, you can't get two attacks. Really shitty at dodging it. That's good. Yeah, honestly, like, fighting this boss, or most bosses anyways, is kind of like, you gotta pay attention. You can't just do the same thing over and over, depending on what boss it is. Uh, because sometimes they could do stuff like you know, unexpected times. Like if you kept doing that move, oh yeah, sure it'd be easy. But then he does something like that, and like how the hell do I dodge it? Get shit on! Oh my! God. I'm a legend. So fairly easy. Yeah, yeah. Just another box. Alright, um you get armor right here. Like armor. Honestly I think it's uh, I think armor is really stupid in this game in my opinion. Because even with tons of armor, somehow things like shit on you in like two shots. I'd rather play the game naked, but I don't wanna stare at my character's body. The entire game. You know, the gluteus maximus. So, over there, you can unlock the door. Actually, I might as well show you. Right, 
so yeah, there's some, uh, there's some decent equipment you can get over here. Because after you kill the pursuer, it gets you. Hey, what the fuck? Yeah, so after you kill the pursuer, it gives you um, it gives you a key. Like I'm not gonna show you an inventory, but uh, you can use that to unlock this door right here, and uh, it unlocks another door. I'll show you in a second. And this is where you get the arrestor at it. The restoration ring. Oh shit. Feels so stupid right now. Oh, what the fuck? I never did that before. Why am I doing like no damage? For some reason, considering how big this guy is, he has like shit boys. God damn it, die already! Alright, so after taking 50 million hours to kill that, unless you're a mage and you just spam one spell, you're gonna get yourself a wonderful herb. Okay, you don't get shit for that. I I don't remember this game that well then. But you do get a ring over here in the chest. It's decent and it weighs a shit ton. Doesn't do much either, so you know, it's kind of like. You can use it if you want, I'm not gonna stop. So I haven't died yet. Just, just want to point that out again. So far, it's, it's going to be. So I'm gonna head back to Jula, and uh, the next part is um, you gotta get yourself two rapiers because dual wielding them just looks hella badass. You see what I mean? And uh, trust me, the hero builds not as good. by 19 I'll be around. Let's see. We got a bow right here. Um, because we're about to go to the next zone. So, I now have two rapiers. And if you uh, collected the right amount of stuff, you should be able to read for all the same way for everything. Yeah, so if you collected the right amount, you should be able enough to upgrade it five times. Four times? I don't know. Sure. Yes, no. uh, I don't. Oh, yeah, okay. So when dual wielding, you'll go into a stance kind of like this, and uh, you use the left buttons to do your special attacks. And I'll show you why they're so good. Isn't it just however? Basically, you're just using both rapiers at the same exact time. Instead of. Because that, that's really how dual wielding works. Yeah, 20, 25 bucks. Yeah, 
Uh, it's best that you you weigh like zero to nothing. So after you get that, you're gonna get this one last thing you can get over here. Then for two things. So uh, there's two things you can get. Uh, one is, um, it, I believe it's a uh, hunter armor. It's, it's uh, really good. Like, um, if you're looking for like way armor, anyways. But you get a bastard sword, which is basically your first uh, kind of great sword you can get. So for strength people, it's probably the way you want to go once you uh, kill the pursuer. I don't really use this guy because he produces light. I hate fighting shit on the boat. Oh god. Man. This is so much easier with a great swing. See, pretty simple. Yep. Those are actually the same skeletons that you fought earlier. So you're gonna go over here. There's two ways you can go. Uh, I could go up the ladder. So now there's two of these. If you remember, explosive barrels. What you want to use? Oh shit, no, oh, no. Not paying attention. No! Oh god. There's too many shit to deal with right now. So meanwhile, my team, uh, teammate's being aggroed. Okay, he's dead. So you get a whip, uh, I believe the bastard sword's up here somewhere. Yeah, so let's see. I, I recommend getting it. It's not the best, but learn to appreciate my stuff. So, um, normally when you get here, don't be scared. You know there's a lot of turtles and shit. That could be pretty, uh, overwhelming. Right, you're gonna open this chest and you're gonna get in big. Luckily, I got somebody I don't want to be in big. So I don't go So this is Armor Generous. He, he, ha he has, um, spells. Be lit. Ah, you piece of shit. He's, he's fairly easy, he's just... Ah, boys, for days. Oh, shit. Yeah, luckily he's an mage, so if you really want to, you can bait out as a, 
the spells and heal while he's falling. a little more, but I ain't gonna kill me. Looks fine as fuck. Oh yeah. I look gorgeous right now. Now, uh, there is actually some armor that you can wear that gives you a special bonuses. Alright, so that's, uh, that's one of those places you can go in here. That's all three bonfires you're gonna need. If you really want to do that, and it's not that important, you don't have to. So next place we're gonna be going is that over here. Now basically, where those guys were throwing bombs on the above there, that's basically where we're going. So you're gonna go here. What I like to do, I like to like stand right here for a good second, wait for them to actually set the bomb. No, they didn't even throw it at the right area. What the fuck? I'm gonna throw bombs. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, that, that bomb was on point. So, if I'm correct, I'm gonna get invaded. About right in this area. I believe. I'm thinking of something. Else. Alright, I guess not. Well, you come back here later and you get invaded, from what I remember. So you're gonna climb up this ladder. And you're gonna realize it's literally across from that. Uh, by the way, crossbows. The poopy butt. fucked it up. Oh. Oh my god, I just got fucking... I just got dick. But I use rapier, so I can see it. I kind of just got parried by a monster, so I kind of feel like shit right now. So yeah, you got all that, and that's basically it for this. Take the same one we got, got here. So that's basically all the jewelry you really need to know about. Besides, uh, we'll be coming back later for one last thing. That's not so late. So I'm coming back from two. We're ready to go to part, the second part of the game, which is Hides Tower of Flame. Unless you like to go to Lost and Still. I'm not crushing it. Yeah, you know how it is. Suspense souls. Some dank souls. This direction. Um, now, Heights Tower Flame. I'm probably gonna die. Just gonna throw that out there. I'm gonna get fucked. <laughs> so, hopefully, I managed to pull through and not die to a uh, dragon slayer. I have nobody to summon. So, it's either uh, I clutch or I get shit on. So you're gonna head down here. Uh, you get the Crimson Parma. It's a shield. It's actually uh, pretty decent, depending on like the or like not depending on, but the other shields you get, it's pretty much better than those. 
You can get uh, the tower shield from the one guy, the armor merchant in this town. And it, it's pretty decent, but at the same time, it's if you want to just like play safe the entire game. And, like no matter what boss you play, just hold up the shield. So the broke thief, so down this way. Alright, uh, a little thing about these knights. Until you kill the dragon rider, which is uh, the boss straight across from me in that giant building over there. Um, until you kill it, these knights won't aggro you. There's like two that'll probably aggro you. Like while you're here. Um, basically, the boss, you should kill on the dragon slayer, or the old dragon slayer. You should kill him first. Because if you kill him, they're not gonna die. Now, if you kill the dragon rider, then coming back here is gonna be a bitch. Because not, there's still a dragon over there. And I, I hope I don't fuck that up. Uh, also, um, weapon advice for this zone use maces. Like, sadly, I'm using a rapier, and I'm kind of resistant to that. Sucks, man. Right? I might invade people in a bit. Right. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna attempt to go up there, depending on how it looks. If I don't feel like fighting this boss, because I might die to it. It's one of the hardest bosses in this game. Yeah, a lot of people would agree. Some people would be like, "Nah, man, it's easy as shit. You suck." Whatever goes up, don't pull the lever. Niggas, I'm gonna show you a strat that uh, most speedrunners to uh, use this same exact strat. It's called uh, the fall off strat. Basically, how it works is um, if you don't pull the levers, it's a small platform, and uh, when the, the first move that the dragon rider is supposed to use is actually a jab with his. Uh, here. So you can actually abuse that and have him uh, fall off as soon as the thing starts by uh, sitting by the edge. Of course, if you don't get it right, then you're in big trouble. This is, uh, this is probably where you hope to god you have stats to wield a bow. I forgot it's left hand. Because, depending on how you uh, do this. What? No. Aim. Aim, damn it. I forgot how to aim. Um. Okay. If I remembered how to use it. So I'm going to aggro this first, because if you walk up there, these two are going to get aggroed. That's a really fight, like a really tough fight. God damn it. This is a tough one, but. Okay, boys is uh, two hits. It so basically takes two hits to poison with this right here right now. You know what they would do. Unless I use power to thrust. Alright, the turn is and um, the rapier, the poison is great. If you if you want like to use really good poise. Yeah, I should do this. 
Yeah, if you want to use really good poise. What, what the hell am I thinking right now? If you want good poise, you use the dagger. The reason I say that is because on uh, the dagger, like, staggers people pretty damn easily. Especially in PvP. It's kind of a bitch. Alright, this guy will fuck you up. So, uh, what I like to do to kill him is you wait for him to do that move, and you roll away. Get away, get away, get away. Shit, 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 shit. Oh. This guy scares the shit out of me. Okay, I kinda walk into that. There we go. Oh, God. I can't tell you how many times times I've died to that guy. Just that guy. Alright. This is where it's make it or break it. You either you fuck this part up. Alright. As soon as the dragon like makes a movement. Start running. Alright. Now it's pretty simple from here. Like if you die this. It's an, it's an And basically uh, most, most bosses that are taller than me kinda has the same strategy if you're trying to attack its leg. If you try to attack its leg, it's like, oh here I'm just gonna stomp on him. And then your leg gear attack. There's some ancient dragon strats for you by the way. If you ever feel ballsy enough to fight that. So I'm going to take a chance at this. Hopefully I don't die because then I'm basically just playing the game knowing that I've died once. Did I pick it up? Okay, um... If you did everything I did, you're probably gonna pick up an aromatic use. That's, uh, basically it puts magic damage on your weapon. And you're gonna need it. So, this is how it's gonna be set up. You have whatever weapon... I, I don't recommend dual wielding during this. So you have your favorite weapon, uh, armor, ring of blades. It's really good for your decks. It's like a and uh, make sure you have aromatic who's actually equipped into your inventory just in case it needs to be applied. Make sure it's full health. I'm gonna try to make sure I don't fuck this up. Alright, let's go, boys. Alright, first stab is uh, jab attack. Alright, so, he's a, he's a really fast guy, so you want to kind of like, you, normally with how bosses is, is you wait for the chance, like for them to make a move. What the fuck? Oh. oh! I did it! God damn it. In my head I was constantly on edge by the way. I'm just letting you know. Guy doesn't do three shifts about me. So you put your soapstone down and get, uh, if you help somebody successfully, it gives you a little token. I think it's really stupid. 
But once you actually help somebody once, you talk to this guy and you can join their covenant. For clerics, I recommend it. He has some pretty decent spells. Oh shit! <laughs> that turned out better than I was expecting. So, that's one, so if you're going for a no death run, that's one of the bosses you kind of have to worry about. If you want to take it safe, you just come back there later and kill it. Honestly, you don't even have to kill it. So, if you're doing a no death run, you don't even fight it. With no death runs, you basically want to just do it as minimal as possible. Like, fight the only things you have to fight. Bring to 20 because you know you gotta make sure you, you're able to dodge most stuff. So, anyways, uh, this was uh, part three of Dank's Wolves 2 Scar of the Fist. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, brothers.